In the summer of 1945, a group of scientists gathered in the desert of New Mexico to witness the first test of an atomic bomb. Among them was J. Robert Oppenheimer, the director of the Los Alamos Laboratory and the man who would later be known as the father of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was a brilliant physicist who had been drawn to the Manhattan Project by the challenge of developing a weapon that could end the war with Japan. But as he watched the bomb detonate, he was overcome by a sense of dread. He later recalled that the moment reminded him of a passage from the Bhagavad Gita, a Hindu sacred text. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that. Oppenheimer's story is one of both triumph and tragedy. He was a gifted scientist who made a major contribution to the war effort, but he was also haunted by the knowledge that he had helped to create a weapon of mass destruction. In this video, we will explore the life and legacy of J. Robert Oppenheimer. We will learn about his early years as a student, his work on the Manhattan Project, and his later years as a public advocate for peace. Oppenheimer was born in New York City in 1904. He was a brilliant student and attended Harvard University, where he studied physics. After graduating from Harvard, he went on to study at the University of Cambridge in England. In 1927, Oppenheimer returned to the United States and began teaching at the University of California, Berkeley. He quickly became one of the leading physicists in the country. In 1942, he was recruited to lead the Los Alamos Laboratory, where he oversaw the development of the atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project was a massive undertaking, and Oppenheimer was a brilliant leader. He was able to bring together the best scientists in the country and motivate them to work together towards a common goal. The bomb was successfully tested in July 1945, and it was used to end the war with Japan just a few weeks later. After the war, Oppenheimer became a vocal advocate for peace. He warned about the dangers of nuclear proliferation and called for the control of nuclear weapons. He also worked to develop peaceful uses for nuclear energy. Oppenheimer's life was marked by both triumph and tragedy. He was a brilliant scientist who made a major contribution to the war effort, but he was also haunted by the knowledge that he had helped to create a weapon of mass destruction. He died in 1967 at the age of 62. J. Robert Oppenheimer was a complex and fascinating figure. He was a brilliant scientist, a gifted leader, and a passionate advocate for peace. His story is a reminder of the power of science and the importance of using it responsibly. Thank you for watching this video about the life and legacy of J. Robert Oppenheimer. I hope you learned something new about this important figure in history. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.